Hello lovelies! <laughs> Hello lovelies! My name is Maddie and welcome to the Mad Crafter 101. I have got some super awesome news for any Disney fans out there. Or at least I think it's super awesome news. I am going on a Disney cruise in just nine weeks. I know that may seem like a long time, but I've been counting down from 300 days. So now that we're under 90 days, I am beyond excited. And to pass away the time and just really get pumped up for the Disney cruise, I'm going to do nine weeks of Disney. Basically, every week I'm gonna be talking about the Disney cruise I'm going on, which is the Disney Dream Boat. Basically, once a week for the next nine weeks, I'm gonna talk about the Disney Dream. I'll be talking about everything from Disney Cruise secrets to why the Disney Cruise isn't just for kids. So the reason I know so much about the Disney Dream is because I've actually been on it before. Back in 2012, I went with my family and we had so much fun. So to kick off the nine weeks of... Are you kidding me? So to kick off my nine weeks of Disney, I'm gonna talk about 10 of my favorite things about the Disney Dream Cruise. And this is in no specific order at all. Number one on my list is Pirate Night. Pirate Night is one of my favorite nights. Everybody gets dressed up in their pirate gear and gets to go to a ginormous pirate party. You get to watch a show with Jack Sparrow in it, and then all of the pirates come and dance on the dance floor with you. It is so much fun. The Disney cruise ships are the only cruise ships allowed on sea to have fireworks. So of course that adds to the awesomeness of Pirates Night. And if you get bored of dancing, you can head over to the buffet where there is pirate themed food. I mean, come on, you have to love that. Number two is most obviously the aqueduct. The aqueduct is basically a giant water slide that goes above the outside deck of the cruise ship. It even goes over water. It is so much fun and I say if you can climb the stairs to get up there, you should go on it. I don't care how old you are. Number three is something just great and it's the customer service. The entire time you're on the ship, you feel like you're royalty because of the way people take care of you. From everyone to your housekeeper, your waiter, and just the people greeting you when you get on the ship. Everyone really works with you to make sure your vacation is amazing, nothing goes wrong, and everything is the way you want it. My fourth favorite thing about the cruise is getting to explore. Whether it's on the ship or on Disney's private island castaway key, I love exploring everything. Number five is the clubs. When I went back in 2012, I was 16, so I was able to go on the teen club, which was just awesome. The teen club was just amazing, and the people there were so nice. They wanted to get to know you, they wanted to party with you, they did everything with you. There's like two children clubs, I think. I don't really know about the children's clubs. But there's something like two, and then there's a tween club, there's a teen club, and there's like two adult clubs. The teen clubs, they have a schedule, an agenda every day of what's going on. They always had scavenger hunts and parties, and one night they were giving away free smoothies. It was just awesome. So number six is obviously eating, because holy crap, the food is amazing on the cruise. Even when you're eating in the buffet, the food is divine. There's free soda anytime you want. You can just go right up to a little soda station and get soda. There's also a free soft serve ice cream station where you can get free soft serve ice cream. And then if you're hungry anytime throughout the day, you can go to the buffet and eat or you can go across from that. There are three, I think there's three little stations you can get food. You can get corn dogs, chicken nuggets, fries, sandwiches, all kinds of things like that pretty much any time throughout the day. Then at dinner you get to go to your scheduled restaurant, which they are all just so beautiful, so amazing. Everything is just wonderful about them. And the food is divine. Number seven is the shows. I'm a big musical fan, and obviously Disney musicals are just beyond my capability of love. I love everything about the shows. They are so fun and so cute, and I can't wait to go see them all again. Number eight is going to the private island of Castaway Key, or K. I don't really know. Castaway Key is the private island owned by Disney, and it is just so much fun to go on. They have everything you could ever imagine doing on an island. You can go parasailing, you can go snorkeling, you can swim with stingrays, you can do just about anything. And even better is you don't have to spend money on anything. You can still have an awesome time without spending a dollar on Castaway. You can play in the sand, there's tons of things for kids to do. You can go to the teen beach, you can go to the adult beach, and also the food on Castaway is free as well. The only thing you have to pay for is like smoothies and stuff, but you can eat as much as you want anytime you want. And plus, Castaway is just such a beautiful place. Number nine is really personal for me, but it's being welcomed on this ship. When you first walk in with your family, somebody kind of leans over to you and asks, what's your family name? 
and then you tell them, obviously, and they say, welcome aboard the da 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 family, and you walk in, and everyone's clapping for you, and you're just, you see this beautiful, amazing place, and you know just by being welcomed like that, that it's going to be an amazing vacation. My 10th favorite thing about the Disney Cruise is that they show brand new Disney movies before they're even released to the theaters on the ship. So that's probably a really, really long video, and I apologize, that's, that's just how it goes, I guess. But those are 10 of my favorite things about the Disney Dream Cruise. I have tons more, but I can't take that long talking about it, because we'd be here for hours, basically. But don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see the rest of my nine weeks of Disney. I can't wait to give it all to you guys, you're gonna love it, and you're pretty much gonna want to go on a Disney cruise after this. At the end of my nine weeks, I'm gonna be vlogging while I'm on the cruise, and after that, I'll upload them. So so you guys can see what it's like on the cruise. I think that's it for today. If you want to see the rest of my nine weeks of Disney, don't forget to subscribe so you'll be notified when I upload and like the video if you liked it. While you're down there, don't forget to comment. Tell me if you've been on the Disney cruise, what your favorite things about it are, and if you haven't, would you ever consider going on one? I'll see you next week. Bye!